The zircon goes to China, where it's further refined into zirconia, before it arrives here in the ancient Japanese city of Sendai. This plant belongs to Kyocera, the world's leading manufacturer of ceramic blades. They begin by molding the zirconia powder into the right shape using a high pressure press. Producing a force of almost 300 tons, the press compacts the powder into a knife shaped blank. These blanks are extremely fragile and can be shattered by the slightest knock. So, like all ceramics, they must be hardened by firing. The temperature inside this kiln reaches 1400 degrees Celsius, and after 48 hours of fierce baking, the soft powder blanks are transformed into virtually unbreakable ceramic. The end result is an extremely hard blade, which is tougher even than the strongest steel equivalent. But you won't be tucking into your sushi with it just yet, because these knives are as blunt as a bar of soap. So, to add the all-important cutting edge, Kyocera have turned to the skills of traditional craftsmen. Meet the master. Here in a small workshop on the edge of the town, the master and his assistants work by hand to sharpen the knives. It's a job that requires a steady hand and intense concentration. Using a spinning wheel coated in diamond dust, they slowly grind away the hardened zirconia to create a razor-sharp edge. My favourite thing about the job is being able to go home at night, knowing I've made the perfect knife. Even though I'm the master, there's a lifetime of learning ahead, before I ever consider myself the true master. Anyone squeamish should now look away. And if there are any children watching, please do not try this next bit at home. In true maniacal samurai style, the master tests the razor sharpness of the knives on himself. Ooh. Presumably he knows he's got the perfect knife when his thumb drops off. As the master and his team bandage their hands, the knives are returned to the factory, where a laser is used to etch the Kyocera trademark. The Japanese authorities realize that super-sharp ceramic knives pose a potential security threat, since terrorists would be able to sneak them past the metal detectors at airports. To prevent this, metal has been mixed with the ceramic, enough to set off an alarm. And two more checks. To see the blade is as tough as it should be. And to see if you can cut through a telephone directory, should the need arise. Which is all very well. But will the blade cut the mustard with a master sushi chef? Back at the restaurant, another batch of raw fish is nearing completion. In the hands of the sushi master, the ceramic knife deftly shaves the wafer-thin slices of fish. And what's more, thanks to its chemically inert blade, it doesn't absorb any odours from the various fish oils, keeping the taste pure. <laughs> 